Relic. So, being that LA is kind of invested, so to speak, with a lot of rappers and singers and whatnot, how do you think you put yourself outside of a box of being one of those cliche persons out here in LA trying to make it? Wow. Well, I don't think it's infested. <laughs> so to speak. It's a, I mean, like everywhere you go, someone's either a rapper or a singer trying to do something that they're really not. And kind of taking up space for people that are really talented, as so yourself. So how do you think that you are not categorized with those people? Well, I don't like to set myself consider myself different as far as like better than anybody else. But I do feel that my talent and my skill set as far as like how I sing and what I sing about sets me aside because it's passionate and it's real. It's from my heart. Um, it's not cliche in any kind of way. So I think in that sense that's how it separates me. How was your musical background like growing up? What what's inspired you to get to where you are right now? Well, definitely all uh, those who come before me. Um, my mother, she used to sing to me every single night. Um, yes, she was lucky. And from that, I just wanted to be as good as her vocally. Uh, then I heard Janet Jackson, I heard Lily Houston, and I heard Love. And from there, uh, Tina Turner, too. My grandmother, she actually went to um, school with Tina Turner. And she would play her music in the living room, and we'd be dancing, and I had my little heels on. So just my family and all of those artists, those specific artists that I named. Who's your favorite singer? Like, not probably the artist that you listen to growing up, but who would you say your favorite singer is, or favorite artist is that's inspired you so far? Definitely Beyonce. That's a great one. Uh, Tina Turner. She's an ultimate entertainer. So, so with those artists, really? Yeah, she's a class act. With those artists, they're like known for having amazing shows and being great entertainers. So, do you think that you and, and uh, you have that capability, or oh, do you, can you put on a show like that? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I love to dance and move around, entertain my, my supporters or anybody in the audience. I want. Anybody who's you know watching the show from me, I want them to feel like I'm performing just for that one person, you know, rather than just there performing for a mass audience. I want each individual person to say, "Oh my gosh, I feel like I came to her concert." Or when she was performing, I feel like she was dancing for me. Like I'm their private dancer, their private singer. Like uh, do you have like any rituals or uh, anything that you need before you perform before you like the stage? <laughs> no, um, I'm really calm. I like to, I like to just be in my dressing room with my stylist, um, people around me who support me. Um, I do pray before I go on stage. Um, I warm up sometimes. Sometimes I don't. Depends on what I'm feeling. Yeah. Crack jokes. Sit back there, you know. I'm real calm and calm nature. So I just keep it chill, you know. I don't do too much talking. Yeah. Do you, do you, is it, I know a lot of performers, they don't say that they get nervous before they perform, but is it, do you ever get nervous or do you get like a jittery nervous or like an anticipation? Yeah, that it's like, I won't call it nervousness. I used to get really nervous. I used yeah. to be stay for actually. But then one day I said, you know, I can't have this take over me. You know, it's holding me back from what I really want to do. So I had to just suck it up. Um, but now it's just more of a joke. Um, before, I don't really think about the show. I'm back there, um, backstage, just chilling with anybody who, you know, is back there supporting me, and we're just all back there. But right before I go on to the stage, I just clear my mind and yeah, just go into it, kind of just transform a little bit. I like but, that word. <laughs> but all that adrenaline, it, it is like some butterflies, but it motivates me to get out there and give it my all. 
Right. So up until this time, you've had well to this point, you've had the opportunity to work with Kendrick Lamar. How was that experience for you? It's great. Um, I'm still working with him and all the other artists on Top Dog Entertainment. Absolutely. And Schoolboy Q, uh, J Rock also. And from working with Kendrick Lamar, I'm uh, seeing backgrounds on. Section 8, I feel like it's um, strengthened me as an artist. Um, and I feel like from that experience, I've gained a lot more supporters. Uh, people are looking at me now as an artist and singer. People are asking or inquiring about my solo project, which I'm working on now. So from there, I mean, it's been a blessing, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. Um, so are you ready now, just maybe? to step aside from the features or backgrounds and do your own thing? Do you feel like you could still capture an audience by being with, involved with other artists or are you ready to do this on your own? I'm definitely ready to get out and do my own thing um, because people are asking, like, where is your passion? You know, where is your, yeah. your music? I want to hear what you have. So I want to give people what they want. And um, also I don't ever not want to you know, do my feature because that's where I started. And I love collaborating with other artists, especially the artists that I started out with. So I plan to continue to collaborate with them. And um, as I do my own thing, I'm planning for them to collaborate with me also. <laughs> but yeah, I do want people to recognize me as a solo artist because I am. What direction are you going in? Like, what's the sound that you have for your project that you're working on? I want an international sound. I want to appeal to do you feel like um, a lot of artists that have an international sound, it's just the same sound, or are you trying to create something that is all 